Howdy, 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 everybody, and welcome to the Reckless Racing Series here on Apex Racing TV. I am the wild card, Austin Knight. I am joined by the super Italian himself, Marco Barbonera, and we are live from Wild Horse Pass Motorsports Park here in Arizona. Starting up on pole, it is William Booth ahead of Booty Cryer, Josh Edmondson, Connor Barry, Cameron Peterson, and fifth place, top five is reversed. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to strap yourself in and put the pedal to the metal. The revs and the heartbeats are going high because we're going racing for the Reckless Racing Series here at Wild Horse Pass. That is Kirk and Briley up there. And, oh no! Oh. Booth gets struck by Edison and it's a car park! And the number 10 car of Creed is pushing himself up there! Edmondson, is a Booth, and Creed, wide. and here comes Creed with a slide job going up into the inside, into the whoops. Edmondson and Creed, Edmondson holding off for the lead with Creed and Booth going side by side, door to door. Uh, Cameron Peterson trying to jump up into, into second place now, side by side. Oh, big, big, big fight there, but for the time being, Creed. Man, what a fantastic rally. Let's jump on board with Peterson for a bit. Uh, let's ride on board with Peterson. He takes us behind Creed. So we start lap six. Is That's a, just a beautiful jump right there. It's especially beautiful when you just nail it right. Oh, he's, he's going, going for, for the inside move on Creed. He's got the nose in there, but Creed's got the speed on the exit. And the beautiful thing around the about this course is you can challenge for the inside everywhere you want, but it's going to hurt you on the exit because the next corner is exactly the opposite. The only time where it's a double turn of the same magnitude is turns one and two. Okay. Yeah, Creed leading out Peterson. Peterson looking down that inside, heading into the whoop section. This is right before the competition caution is going to jump out. This would be a great opportunity to be able to jump the start and try to get Edmondson right there as they're drifting around the final quarter and jumping across the line as we are going into the competition caution. But the field is in Edmondson's hand and we're going back racing here at Wild Horse Pass. That is just so beautiful seeing a line of trucks just jumping in, jumping one after the other. It's so beautiful. Ooh. Edmondson, Creed looking for a little bit of a slide bump. Oh, Peterson gets smacked into the side by Cryer. The 005 car trying to get the elbows out on the 48 as Ford has retired into the pit lane. Yeah, and now Sodorf has also joined this party. The leader is a bit deep. Big contact there. Big contact, big old slide, and Creed is getting each end of the business. Look how dirty Peterson's front grill is of that Ford Raptor. And judging by the way he's driving his suit, uh, he's going to need a shower, a big shower after this. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna have to bring that up in uh, the post race oh! interview. With, oh, Edison gets jogged by Creed, and Creed's getting pinned by Peterson. It's a drag race coming out of turn two. Edmondson with a slide jump, and here comes Peterson going down the inside the shirtless wonder himself, making it three wide as they're heading into the final quarter, but Edmondson is still in the lead. I mean, that could have been the chance for uh, for Peterson to get back to the lead. Uh, all uh, this was created by the dive bomb from, uh, from Creed, but no, nothing changed. Uh, so difficult to pass around here, but... I'm not, I'm expecting the dive bombs to keep on happening, and here we go. Oh, a good again. slide jump right there. Creed turns him again, but Peterson had nowhere to go up to the exit as Creed's car was right there. Creed looking down to the inside once more. Look Sliding on the way, Creed looking for that outside oh, line. Oh, no, sideways. Edmondson and Creed. Creed's in the barrier. Creed is in the advertisements, and here comes Peterson on Edmondson. Flying high across the line. Starting lap 14, four laps go, Edison round the outside of Peterson, still holding oh. it up, jumping off that cliff. <laughs> and now it's Edison, Peterson, and Cryer, your top three. Peterson looking down that inside line now. No, but no uh, 
RG barging from him right there as, oh, oh my goodness, that last lap is going a bit wide as here comes Cryer. Look at the traffic uh, that these fighters created. Basically, they are all there. And fantastic stuff for the race lead. Another lap in the books. Edmiston going wide into the hairpin. Peterson looking down to the inside. Peterson's got in front of Edmiston right there by who's going to be the last of the late breakers, but last of the late jumpers. Who's going to have the better line? Edmiston giving Peterson a little bit of a check with his back quarter panel. And Cryer, he's just hunting into the background. Edmison has gone wide. New leader is Josh Peterson with Cryer in second. Edmison has dropped down to third. Two laps to go. We got one lap to go. Say it, Marco. Sale La Blanca. Hit it wild. Doors pass. They're getting door to door right there in that midfield pack. Trying to get up as far as, far as they can. Coming up to the third place. But Peterson is leading this field he can look back and smile and get a sigh of relief as he's going to fly across the line and take the win here for the Reckless Racing Lead at Wild Horse Pass, followed by Edmondson in English, your top three. Taking the win here is Cameron Peterson, followed by Josh Edmondson, Don English in third, Beauty Cryer in fourth, William R. Harris, John Binder, Doug Rosequist, William Booth, Connor Berry, Jeremy Seldorf, Selda Creed, Trenton Briley, Jack Kerr, and Scott M. Ford in 14th place.